Hey everyone, it's Erin here. Um, today I want to show you how to do the invisible single crochet decrease. This is a really good stitch um, to substitute for a single crochet two together. Um, basically, if you're doing projects like stuffed animals or amigurumi where it takes um, polyfill or some kind of stuffing, it doesn't leave those huge gaps or holes that um, other decrease stitches um, leave. And so the polyfill doesn't um, show through. Anyway, today I am working on a pumpkin and normally I would do a single crochet two together around the top before I cinch it close and put my stuffing in. And if you notice here, I've already done a few. And can you see how large these holes are? and these gaps. Um, when I cinch the top close, it seems like they get even a little bit larger from the pulling and even more polyfill shows through. So I learned this stitch not long ago and I've used it a lot since then and I really like it. So let me show you the difference. So what you do is you take your hook and you insert it into the front loop only of your first stitch then you insert your hook into the front loop only of the next stitch. So that looks a little awkward probably and it feels a little awkward the first time, but after one or two, you really get the hang of it and it's no big deal at all. So let me show you again. Insert your hook into the front loop only of the first stitch, kind of pull your hook out and rotate it a little bit to get it into the front loop only of that next stitch then all you do is you yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now I'm using two yarn or two um, pieces of yarn held together. So I hope that's not confusing you. It might look like I'm going through both loops, but if I turn my work a little, you can see that would be both loops. I'm doing the front loop only right there. So let me do a few more. So insert your hook into the front loop only of the first stitch, insert it into the front loop only of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the next. So front loop only, front loop only, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the next two, so let me take my hook out. Do you see how much smaller in general those little gaps are? And the stitch is smaller and it looks more like the other stitches. You can see, see that's the single crochet do two together. That hole is really large and it has kind of a different look about it. See how that portion of the stitch looks and then compare it to the invisible single crochet decrease. So I really like this on certain projects. Again, it's not gonna work on um, every project, but definitely projects where you want the stitches to look really nice and tight. Um, anyway, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope to do several more for you. If you have any comments, please write them in the comments section below. You can email me at simplymadebyerin.com, simplymadebyerin at gmail.com. You can message me on Etsy or Instagram. I check those every day as long as I'm in an area that has cell service. Anyway, I look forward to um, hearing from you guys and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.